Hello, welcome to how to evaluate this very nice expression square root of 15 plus square root of 5 over square root of 20 whole to the power 9. We can write this square root of 15 as square root of 3 times 5 plus square root of 5 divided by we can write this uh, square root of 20 as 4 times 5 whole to the power this power 9. Next, we can write this uh, square root of 3 times uh, square root of 5 as square root of 3 times square root of 5 plus square root of 5 divided by we can write this uh, square root of 4 times 5 as square root of 4 times square root of 5 whole to the power 9. Next, now from here we can factor out square root of 5. Square root of 5 as a common factor and in bracket left square root of 3 plus 1 divided by this uh, square root of 4 is equal to 2 times square root of 5 whole to the power this power 9 is equal to this uh, square root of 5 will be cancelled with this square root of 5 and here left square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 whole to the power 9. Now we suppose that uh, this expression square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 is equal to x. Let x is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 over 2. And if we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, this implies that 2x is equal to square root of 3 plus 1. And we move this plus 1 to the left side then 2x minus 1 is equal to square root of 3 and from here we take square of both sides of this equation. Now according to this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This 2x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left 3. Now we move this uh, negative 4x and this plus 1 to the right side. It left side left 4x squared is equal to this negative 4x becomes positive 4x at right side plus this 3 and this uh, plus 1 becomes a negative 1 at right side. Next 4x squared is equal to 4x 3 minus 1 plus 2. Now we can write this 4x squared as 2 times 2x squared is equal to and we can factor out 2 from here. 2 as a common factor and in bracket left 2x plus 1. Now this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left 2 x squared is equal to 2x plus 1. Now we take a square of uh, both sides of this equation. 2x squared whole square is equal to 2x plus 1 whole square. Now this uh, 2x squared whole squared is equal to 4x to the power 4 is equal to now according to this algebraic identity a plus b whole 
squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This expression 2x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Next, 4x to the power 4 is equal to, we can write this 4x squared as 2 times 2x squared plus this 4x plus 1, 4x plus 1. Next, 4x to the power 4 is equal to 2 times, now in place of this 2x squared, we put the value of 2x squared, 2x plus 1 from here. Value of 2x squared is 2x plus 1 plus 4x plus 1. Next, 4x to the power 4 is equal to 2 times 2x, 4x and 2 times plus 1 plus 2 plus 4x plus 1. 1 and 4x to the power 4 is equal to this 4x plus this 4x 8x and plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 and from here we take square of both sides. Square of 4x to the power 4 is equal to 16x to the power 8 is equal to according to this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared this 8x plus 3 whole squared is equal to 64x squared plus 48x plus 9 next 16x to the power 8 is equal to, we can write this 64x squared as 32 times 2x squared plus 48x plus 9. Next, 16x to the power 8 is equal to 32 times, in place of this 2x squared, we put the value of 2x squared, 2x plus 1. Value of 2x squared is equal to 2x plus 1. So, here we write 2x plus 1 plus 48x plus 9. Next, 16x to the power 8 is equal to 32 times 2x, 64x and 32 times plus 1 plus 32 plus 48x plus 9. Next, 16x to the power 8 is equal to 64x plus 48x, 112x plus 32 plus 9, 41. Now from here we multiply both sides of this equation by x. At right side we multiply by x. So x times 16x to the power 8, 16x to the power 9 is equal to 112 times x, 112x squared plus 41 times x, 41x. Next, 16x to the power 9 is equal to, we can write this 112x squared as 56 times 2x squared plus 41x. And 16x to the power 9 is equal to 56 times, in place of this 2x squared, we put the value of 2x squared, 2x plus 1. Value of 2x squared is 2x plus 1 plus 41x. 
and is 16x to the power 9 is equal to 56 times 2x 112x and 56 times plus 1 plus 56 plus 41 times x 41x next 16x to the power 9 is equal to 112x plus 41x 153x plus this 56 56 now in place of this x and in place of this x we put the value of x square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 x is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 over 2. So, in place of this x, we put this value 16 times value of x is square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 whole to the power this power 9 is equal to 153 times value of x is square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 plus this 56 56 and 16 times square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 whole to the power 9 is equal to 153 times square root of 3 153 times square root of 3 plus 153 times 1 153 divided by 2 plus 56 next 16 times square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 whole to the power 9 is equal to we can write the denominator of this 56 1 and we take LCM of this 1 and this 2 LCM of 1 and 2 is 2 and this 153 times square root of 3 plus this 153 plus when we divide this 2 by this 1 we get 2 and 2 times this 56 112 now from here we divide both sides by 16 and this 16 will be cancelled with this 16 and at left side left square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 whole to the power 9 is equal to this 153 times square root of 3 153 times square root of 3 plus 153 plus 112 200 65 divided by 2 times 16 32 this is the value of this expression square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 so this expression square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 whole to the power 9 is equal to 153 times square root of 3 plus 265 divided by 32 and this expression is equal to 153 times square root of 3 plus 265 divided by 32.